Hey guys, Lex here with Nar Fragrance videos. So, you're probably looking at the title and thinking, what the fuck? Yep, I actually done it. I'm reviewing an Axe or Lynx, Lynx fragrance. It's called Lynx in the UK and Axe in the US. So, this is the Eau de Toilette of Dark Temptation by Lynx Axe. I'll just call it Lynx, okay? Um, and yeah, so this, I believe, came out in 2013. I don't think it did. I think it came out before that, but according to Fragrantica, it says 2013, so that's the date I've got. Um, not that it's a big deal, no one's really going to give a shit, but oh well. So, let's get started. Um, the amount of hate this brand sort of gets is hilarious. And it doesn't deserve some of the hate, I'm going to be quite honest. Coming from me, of all people. I, if something's garbage, I will say it's garbage. But, yeah, let's get started. I'm going to turn my volume down. Keep forgetting to do that. So, bottle design, let's get started. Basic here, really nothing special. It's got no, they all look the exact same. Um, I don't have a clue what this is until you turn it around the back, and it has links, Dark Temptation, Eau de Toilette, and some details. Nothing fancy, this is a 50ml bottle. Now, before you, I'm going to probably talk about this, before you guys go on about how shit this is, bear in mind, this stuff costs about 6 quid a bottle. 6 pounds for a 50ml bottle. So those, I'm judging it based on that sort of price. You know, if it was 100 quid, I'd be like, yeah, 4 out of 10. But consider it's 6 quid a bottle, I'm going to be judging that, taking that into account during the review. So, yeah, basic bottle, nothing fancy, really isn't that cool. It does look kind of sleek, but nothing too fancy. So let's get started on the sprayer. So, it's not one of these annoying sprayers, it looks like it can, it's really cheap. Looks like it can pop off, but yeah. How's it spray? Not bad, actually. A fair mist comes out. So the sprayer itself, even though it looks cheap, is actually pretty damn good. So yeah, how's this smell? Really good, actually, yeah. I really always loved Dark Temptation. I never got the adverts. He's turning, like, he's made out of chocolate or something, and people want to take a bite out of him or something like that. This doesn't smell like chocolate. It smells maybe a tiny bit chocolatey, but it smells sexy, seductive. It kind of smells almost like an Armani fragrance. Like, um, imagine they made a Gourmand version. Like, imagine you took Armani Code and combined it with Dior Home Intense, and... Choco Musk, this is what it would smell like. Yeah. Yeah. Really nice. Um, it smells really playful, seductive. It's kind of alcoholic and synthetic right off the bat. It's kind of burning my nose a little. Really alcoholic, but for six quid, what do you expect? You know, it's not. I'm not talking about Creed or Sensed over here. This is, you know, Lynx. But really, it does smell pretty damn good. And I always love the smell of this one. It smells great. Really sexy, playful. It's simple. You know, it's not too complex. It's just a really nice scent. You know, it's it's for the price. You're not going to want something super complex. If you want something to to wear any time, this is, yeah, really good. So the smell, but despite the alcoholic vibe I'm getting, really really nice. I have to say. So this is where it gets difficult. I'm going to talk about performance. Performance with the odor toilet. I'm going to mention that the body spray is roughly the same, I believe. But yeah. So, performance on me is not good. I get about 5 to 6 hours, let's just call it 6 hours average with this. Sometimes less, sometimes 4 hours. So about 4 to 6 hours average longevity, really not that good. Projection, projects at maybe about an arm's length for the first hour and then it starts to die down. The projection really isn't good, this does stick pretty close to the skin um, after about the first half hour to an hour, so about 45 minutes in, it really starts to sit close to the skin. It's not projecting very well. I'm not sure how the body spray is. I, do, I have sniffed people wearing the body spray and it's filled the room, and I'm like, how the fuck do they do it? Stuff doesn't last that long. So maybe the body spray lasts longer than the Eau de Toilette. Um, but this Eau de Toilette version, really not good performance wise. Four to six hours longevity. Fairly low projection, about just below average. So yeah, how many sprays with this one? Uh, judging by the performance, I'm going to say six sprays with this. Um, really, um, that might overdo it. But six sprays, um, colder weather, more sprays, hotter weather, less. Uh, adjust for um, how you want, adjust for the situation, adjust for the weather. And you should be fine. Age group, this one is pretty versatile age group wise, really. Uh, if I smelled, this one is like 16 and up, you can wear this at like 13, you can wear this at 5 years old and you can barely walk, you know, <laughs> without a doubt. This one is for any age group, uh, if, you, if I sniffed this on you at 16 or if I smelled this on you at 60, I wouldn't think it's out of place, not bad. So yeah, age group, anything you want really. So um, season wise, where to wear this, I would definitely say this one is for colder weather, without a doubt. Really, um, autumn, winter, spring. 
Every season except summer, basically with this one. Every season except summer. Autumn, winter, no problem. Cold spring day, perfect. And that's you sorted. Situation-wise, where to wear this? Work. Now, I'd normally think there's no way you wear this at work. But when I was at my last job, there was a guy that used to um, spray the body spray, come in and spray it himself with the body spray in the toilets every morning. And I really liked it. It's, it wasn't too strong. It wasn't, it was strong, but it wasn't overpowering. I was getting nice whiffs of it and it really smelled great. And I worked in a call centre. So office environment, everyone's in business wear. And it worked out fine. So work, yep. You don't overdo it. This will work fine. You're on a date. Yes, dinner date, cinema date. This will be perfect for a date. This is now one of these sexy ones. Women will love this. Yeah, this is now one of these super compliment getters. Um, perfect for a date, perfect for clubbing, without a doubt. Yeah, casually going to the pub, going to the shops, yeah, perfect for that too. Dressing up, formal event, you're going to the Oscars, you know, you're going to your, your film premiere for Fragrances with Lex the movie. <coughs> Not that it's ever going to happen, but <laughs> um, I think you could. It really doesn't smell that, like, well, I'm saying clubbing and dates and stuff, there are better options. Anyone who is a true fragrance lover will know this. But if you want to wear this and you really thought, you know, I really want to get that, I'm curious, you can wear it on a date, you can wear it clubbing, you can wear it casually, you can wear it to work, and you can wear it to a formal event. It really smells that dark sort of seductive sexiness in there, would work really well with a suit. If I walked into like a high-end club and saw some guy in a really nice suit wearing this, I wouldn't think, oh, why is he wearing that cheap stuff? Because this does smell pretty nice. You know, it would work well with that. Probably a lot of people are going to hate me for this, like, you're the worst reviewer ever, but I won't care. Because it's my honest review, and that's the truth. If this was shit, I'd just say to you, don't buy this. I've said it before, so... But this is really good. I'm going to give this one about... An 8 out of 10. Um, yeah, and you're thinking, an 8 out of 10? Yep, no joke. It's actually not bad. Um, well, actually, I say 8 out of 10, I'm going to give it a 7. Now, I'm not sure you to give it a 7 or 8, but considering it's 6 quid, I'm tempted to give it an 8. But that alcoholic vibe, that has that synthetic alcoholic vibe, push it down to a 7. I'm going to give it a 7, just to play it safe. I'm going to give it a 7. Uh, um, yeah, so I'll, you'll, if I change your mind, you'll find out in the rating system. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for all you, uh, you guys who do. Send me a message if you have any questions. Leave them in the comments. Send me a YouTube message. Send me a Facebook message. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And as always, keep on smelling fly. And for six quid for a bottle of this, smelling fly really isn't that hard.